Understanding Tattletale, a guide to the phrase. Hello everyone, and welcome. Today, we're diving into the phrase, tattletale. Whether you've heard it on the playground or seen it in a book, this term has a colorful history and a present-day meaning that's useful to know in English conversations. The phrase, tattletale, refers to someone who informs an authority or someone in power about the misdeeds of others. In simpler terms, it's a person, often a child, who tells secrets or reports on others, usually to get them in trouble. It's not a compliment and often carries a negative connotation. Let's delve into history. The term, tattletale, dates back to the 16th century and is believed to come from the word, tattle, which means idle talk or gossip, and tale, which refers to a story. It paints a picture of someone who spreads stories or gossip that may not be theirs to share. Now, how can you use it? If someone is being a tattletale, you might hear sentences like, Don't be such a tattletale. Keep it to yourself. She was labeled the class tattletale for telling the teacher about the prank. It's worth noting that tattletale can be seen differently depending on the context. In professional settings, adults may use the term whistleblower instead, which can carry a more positive connotation for revealing wrongdoing. For those looking for different words with similar meanings, consider synonyms like snitch, informer, or squealer. Each has its own shade of meaning, so choose wisely based on the situation. And that's a wrap on Tattletale. Remember, language is not just about words but also about the context and culture they're used in. I hope this video helps you understand and use the phrase tattletale more confidently in your English conversations. Until next time, keep learning and see you soon.